Aloha! Welcome to How to Work a Conference to Make It Work for You. I'm Catherine Fulford from the University of Hawaii, and with me is Adam Tanari. He is my design assistant. This is the beginning of a five-part series. Part one is called Strategic Conferencing. We will cover Before You Go, Be Prepared, Keep in Mind, Connect and Network, Support Colleagues, Become Worldly. Before You Go Your conference paper precedes you. You need to make a good impression from the very beginning. So when you send in your proposal, remember these things. You want to choose the right paper category. Having the wrong paper category means people think twice about whether you should be at the conference or not. Also, you want to make sure that you choose the correct format. Many people think you don't need to do that until you write the final paper, but that's really not correct. You need to go ahead and format it before you submit your proposal. In addition, make sure that you spell check and grammar check. You certainly won't win any awards with a paper that's poorly edited. If you want to get funding for your conference, you may want to use certain keywords. Many universities pride research, so make sure you put research in the body of your abstract. Also, using the word grants in your request can be important because some organizations also use that grant funding to fund travel. Another idea is to go ahead and draft the recommendation letter that will be sent by your supervisor. The reason is, is you know the conference and your paper much better than they do. So make sure that you play the game and follow the rules. Be prepared. First of all, you want to know your agenda. So have a checklist ready. Bring things like your reservation and registration for both the conference as well as the hotel. Make sure to bring all of your presentation equipment. They may not have it. Bring business cards. You're going to need those to network. Make sure to bring a camera and plenty of supplies. You'll want to be taking pictures of not only your friends, but also the surrounding area. Bring backup copies of your presentation. You can do this in multiple ways. You can put it on the internet. You can bring it on a thumb drive or a CD-ROM or you can also make sure to have paper copies. You never know when the electricity might go out. Make sure that you know your scheduled time and room, and you can find this out online before you leave. And then ask yourself, did I forget anything? The next big idea is dress for what you want to become, and you will get there faster. So you want to costume yourself for this event. Make sure you look like the person you want to be, whether it's a CEO of a design company or whether it's a university professor. So look like what you want to achieve. So one of the ways to do this is to dress for the occasion. In formal settings, such as making your presentation or opening speeches, Men should wear ties, suits, and slacks. Women should wear blazers or a suit, business skirts or pants. So other times you might want to be more casual. So business casual would be appropriate. So for men, that would mean a dress shirt, slacks, press jeans, long sleeve polo shirt. For women, that would mean press slacks or a long sleeve polo. Also, dressing for the occasion means their informal circumstances, like perhaps going out with a group of friends in the evening. So, for men, this might mean a nice shirt, a golf shirt or a t shirt, press jeans. And for women, maybe just a shirt, a t shirt, and jeans. There are other times when you want to be dressed for an evening or a theme. And this is not the same as dressing for business. 
For example, one time we had an evening theme of having a Hawaiian luau. It was really wonderful, but lots of people showed up without the proper attire. Fortunately, in my suitcase, I had brought extras, so I was able to loan them out. Keep in mind. Keep in mind your long-term career goals, especially with the sessions that you decide to attend and the people you focus on to network. Also, think about your research agenda. What is it that you really need and want to get out of this conference? Try new ideas. Some conference sessions that you go to might end up with surprises and send you in new directions. Don't work too hard. It's easy to get burned out on a conference that you attend from morning till night. Be flexible and have lunch. Having lunch is a great way to network. Connect and network. Remember, going to a conference is like an on-site job interview. For every hundred business cards you give out, you may have one sale. In other words, if you're looking for a new research partner, a new research project, or you want a new job, this is a good way to get it. One way to do this is to join the AACE community at my AACE. You want to engage in social networking and connect with colleagues worldwide. AACE has blogs, Twitter, Facebook, Ning, Flickr, and Discussion Board. You can also do things like volunteer to be a presider, review papers, work on a committee, or register as a student volunteer. You've probably heard the saying that on average there are only six degrees of separation between you and all the people in the world. For example, I happen to know David Merrill, who is a guru in educational technology. And my students had the opportunity to meet him, and now they are also his colleague. So that's how important it is to get to know people at a conference. You never know who you might meet and who's important to you. Also, as you connect and network, advertise your program, talk to speakers. This is a very good way to network with colleagues and learn more about research and have lunch. Don't forget to smile. A smile is very welcoming, and people will talk to you if you smile at them. Don't forget to be sociable. Go to all the social events you can. It's probably the best way to network. And saying thank you is very important. A lot of people put hard work into these conferences. Finding out who those people are and making a point to say thank you is a good way to be recognized. You'll make friends for a lifetime. Remember, this is your tribe. In other words, educational technology, instructional design, and our whole field is a very small group of people. This group of people will be the people you're with for the rest of your life. Support colleagues. It's also important to support colleagues that also come to the conference. You can attend their presentation, promote camaraderie, and also it helps market your organization. When we travel from Hawaii, we travel in mass, and there are a lot of us that work together, and we're recognized worldwide for that. Taking pictures is not only fun, but it's nearly required if you want to be a good professional. So do things like take pictures of your presentation, take pictures of your new friends, Take pictures of conference events, and also of worldly venues. You'd be amazed at how often in the future you can use these in your own presentation. Also, please be sure to post them on AACE's Flickr and share them with colleagues around the world. Become worldly. It's good to create opportunities for yourself. Be sure to enjoy where you are. 
And then becoming internationally known is often important, especially in universities. So by knowing people abroad, you are internationally known and you become part of that community. And besides, it's the best part of the job. Aloha until next time. In our next session, we have the introduction to slideshow presentations. Next time, we'll be covering prepare your presentation, add surprises, presentation content, your insights, trust and believability, and silent messages. Aloha and mahalo.